Hello, Bear. Welcome back once again to the den. Today, I am super excited to bring you guys this map overview slash review of the new Pleasant Valley, Iowa map. And yeah, we're just going to get right into it. I am super excited as I am from the Midwest, so it's going to be cool to see some uh, very nice stuff here that has to do with the Midwest. And yeah. We're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna start the police station and kind of make our way around in a circle. Uh, starting off turning left. So I'm currently in this newly skinned Camaro. Very nice black on it. Undercover style, I think. Oh, whoa. I wasn't paying enough attention. Dude, can you not? But uh, here we are in, oh, what is this? There's a paint shop there, so there must be a spawn around here somewhere. What the heck? So we got gas station here. Oh, here's the spawn. This is... Buffalo. Buffalo, Iowa. Paint shop there. Gas station. I like this... Oh, I'm stuck. I like this awning here for the spawn. That's a great idea, because it's not too obstructive, and it doesn't interrupt your uh, stuff there. I like the mini stop sign as well. You see those around sometimes. Windmills are spinning. Uh, you got lots of funny street names. Horizon, Sisquiti, Tiffin. Lots of tiny houses, not many big houses. And then it just leads to the end of the map over here. The actual map, mini map, is not released yet. But I will have... Uh, in my Discord, since I usually do UDPD videos, I will have um, a map that I... Like, I, I will take a screenshot of the map, and then I will mark all of the street names on it. So, useful for police roleplay purposes for you guys. And, you know, anyone else that wants to see it. Anyway, next we're going to head to... I believe... Uh, Colesville. We're just gonna blow a red light. Cause why not? Cause we can. Power lines along the road. Very common. Tangled power lines. Yep. Okay, so there's a little dirt road here. Leads to the school there. Not really sure what's out that way. I'll know more once the actual map is released, and I don't really want to get lost while I'm doing a review, so I'll just go over... What I know, which is quite a bit, to be honest. This is I-280 here, Interstate 280, whatever you want to call it. Uh, dirt path there, which uh, leads... Actually, I might just take that, to be honest. Come at it from a bit of a different angle. As you can see here, this road is very beat up and realistic <laughs> to the area, unfortunately. Gravel shoulders, yep. Dirt roads, yep. Tons of corn there and beans and all that jazz. Oh, please. This becomes 10th Avenue. Which is somewhere you'll probably drive on if you're in the northern area of the map. It's got a lot of rolling hills, which is, again, a thing you'll see a lot out here. And dirt road. We'll get to that in a minute. That leads to Colesville there. And this road here also leads to Colesville. As you can see, we got some train tracks, which is awesome. I'm a royal fan, so I do like the references to trains and stuff. We'll go back on this road in a minute. You can already see the grain elevator there, which are the skyscrapers of Iowa. Not even kidding. This way leads us back out to the interstate over here. Yep, this is I-280 right here. And there's... You know, a broken barrier, which isn't all that uncommon. At the end of a road. 
old Billy at the farm decided he was gonna run into something. And that was it. So here's Colesville. It's pretty small, but pretty cool at the same time. Spawn is here. Again, I like this theme, how they make them all different. Gun spawn is there if you care. Paint shop. Huge grain elevator. Can you, can you not? Dang it, he's green. I would have rushed him. But, um, four tracks here, which is insane. Even for a grain elevator. By the way, if you're wondering what the purple pants are, I'm doing a Minnesota-style state patrol soon. I'm going to do three different themed ones. I'm going to do one from the Midwest, which is going to be Minnesota, because why not? And then I'm going to do one on the West Coast and one on the East Coast, and then maybe one in the Mountain Zone. But here, for all you rail fans out there, wigwags. Freaking wigwags. What? <laughs> like, thank you, dude. You can't turn them on, sadly. But it is a double track, and there's wigwags with embells. Oh, it's so cool. Because, uh, if you don't know, those are very vintage signals, and there's an idiot trying to cross the tracks over there. But, I wish you would have added more of this, uh, type of town with the Grand Elevator, because that's pretty much all... Or, like, I grew up in a small town, uh, with the Grand Elevator, then moved. Uh, but around. Oh, sorry. It's early in the morning, and I was super excited to get this video out. Uh, here you can see a few dead ends. And, yeah, just back out onto the dirt. Very cool small town. I would say similar to what I grew up in, but it's really not, because mine was bigger than, like, five people, but... You know. Breaks. Lots of, lots of corn all over the place. Alright, right here we're getting to some more highway stuff up here. That's that. <laughs> Just leads to the end of the map. Now, I'm assuming he's planning to make another map with an Iowa City type. Because it says to downtown and an industrial, an industrial park. So, I'm assuming that'll be another map. We got a hotel here. Pretty cool. Roleplay purposes. Little uh, storefront mall area right here. Pizza Shack. Yep, you'll see stuff like that around with the wagons on the pizza signs. <laughs> that wasn't very descriptive, but still. Uh, and then that is apparently going to lead to a town. Uh, downtown of some kind. This is the transit spawn, which is a little bit jagged right now. I think he kind of has to smooth out, smooth out some of the edges still, but... Uh, we've got like a height, a maximum height thing. I wonder if you could open that from the other side. That'd be cool. Um, hmm, no entry from either side. That makes total sense. Oh, great. I'm stuck. Um, okay. Yeah, he definitely has to flatten. Oh, no. Yeah, he's definitely got to get some bugs out of here. <laughs> Because that is a problem. Like if you just barely fall off of there, which would be super easy with a bus, mind you. But you can kind of see it there. There's where you spawn the buses, and then you go out that way, I assume. Parking lot there for any cars that need to, you know, park. We'll get back on, uh, or go on to the 67 here. This road here leads down to Colesville. Nothing much to see there. There's farmhouses all over the map like that, so. Uh, there's a VMS there. What we have here? I've been fine for speeding. Okay. This is, uh, I believe, the 
This is the Mississippi something town. Here, let, let's see. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. I'm sorry. I will find out in a minute. But it, it is a town. Houses over there. Good houses, actually. S uh, single floor. And not a trailer. And there's some trailer-like ones over there. And... Little crick through here. Yep, it's a crick. That's how. That's what they call it in Iowa and all of the Midwest, pretty much. This is the I-280 once again, and this actually leads into like an Illinois area, so that might be a different map as well. Claire Bluff State Park. We'll go up there in a minute. Oh, please. At least he has to sped up X2. Okay, then. More houses. These look pretty good. We're gonna continue here just so I can show you guys where this comes out. Again, more dirt roads. Farmhouses. Etc. This is the Pleasant Valley, like, Peace Association thing, which leads to another little town down here, which I will go and visit quickly. It's on the Y42E, as you can see there. Very, uh, realistic to Iowa County road names. They do it like that. I don't know what town this is either, because the actual map isn't in yet. But, has a riverfront here, valley, oh, this is Pleasant Valley, this is actual Pleasant Valley, that's right. Uh, that doesn't really go anywhere, but this is a nice area with the riverfront and stuff. Not much place to go out except through here, except where we're going to go. Entering another county. I didn't quite get the name. Police station is over there. So we've kind of made our full loop by now, and it's nighttime, and I just rammed into a pole. Which is just. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to have to reset. Alrighty, so right down here is a small town. Duh. Uh. Yeah, that was a voice crack not really sure what this one is called. Uh, actually, never mind. Let me go over here. Fairport. Okay. And then that goes to Illinois. They got a little toll booth there. So, anyway, I will now take you guys to the Leclerc State Park. And then I think we're done. I'm pretty sure. What, it's not a very long uh, review. Er, not my review yet, but it's not a very long tour uh, as of yet, because I haven't... That might be the whole thing, and if it is, that's fine. But if it isn't, there are probably some things I have not yet explored. So, you know, we'll have to see what pops up when the actual map is released. I'm going to get the name of this town. Oh, Leclerc. So this is Leclerc. Can you, can you not, please, please, st no, stop. We'll go to the state park. Up here, we'll turn on our headlights so you guys can see the scenery. Winding road. I'm going to a Midwestern State Park soon as well. So this is not how you get there. It's actually kind of an island, which is really nice. A lot of wildlife on it. Pretty cool. Claire Bluff. 
state no I'm not from Compton England is my city okay I'm, I'm sorry I just had to do that but anyway there's a little state park over look thing it looks over the town and then this road oh dear oh boy this road keeps going out towards uh... Well, we'll just take it and see where it goes i guess goes out towards uh... the southernmost road that we kinda the, the second road we turned on to before we got to Colesville. Here, I should probably. Oh my. I just. Hugely flipped out there. Is that the band star? Yep. Anyway, this is the interstate, and then, yeah, this is the Colesville Road, so we'll take the. Actually, I haven't been on the interstate this far down or down here yet actually so oh go me oh look at that skill right there mm. another one ha same person A road of some kind. Looks like this goes over the tracks up here. Yep. And then the end of the map. Okay. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little map overview. Uh, now on to my opinion as I kind of just drive around a bit. I mean, nothing too extravagant. Uh, but for me, it's awesome because I'm from Iowa originally. Okay, I can't see in first person. Um, <laughs> but it's really cool to just see all of this happening and a lot of people in it right now. You know, it's very nice to see that and it's not laggy like Kuratik was for some people. I didn't have problems on it personally. Um, but, you know, some people did, so he's going to have to split that in half, which is kind of sad. So, anyway. I really, really do like this map. <laughs> which probably doesn't surprise you guys. I really enjoy new additions to the uh, UDU universe, and especially when I can relate to the locations that is awesome so I really do uh, do, do hope that he does add that city as a new map that would be cool because I saw in the 280 some signs for the Mississippi River uh, industrial district is industrial I can't speak industrial district as well so you know I mean good map uh... i would say from me nine out of ten for sure uh... some stuff that he does have to fix uh... these are my messages to bull ruster or let me just make sure i got that right yep bull ruster uh... bull ruster fifteen these are my messages to you if you are watching this video number one is out here in colesville right here these wigwag signals please let us turn those on they are vintage signals we want to see them <laughs> or at least I do and if you have any opinions on that uh, feel free to let me know I will attempt and understand number two please make that city you had signs for an actual city please 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 do that that would be oh that would be amazing <laughs> Number three, this is my third and final point. Keep doing what you are doing, sir. It is amazing, and you just, you, you gotta love it, man. Especially if you're from the Midwest, you can relate to all of this. 
some people will be like, oh, it's such a boring map. But for me, it's really cool to see that someone actually cares and recreated this. So, thank you very much, sir, and I will see you guys in the next UDPDFR video, which will be a themed patrol. And I might do some Phantom Forces content in the meantime, etc. So anyway, I hope you, uh, you know, play on this map. Link is in the description. I highly encourage you to play on this map. It's amazing, especially if you're living in the Midwest right now. You can, you will totally be able to relate to this. It is, oh, I can't get over it. It's so good. Oh, man. Mm. Just like Kuratuk was when it came out. I was like, wow, this is good. You know, great elevator. I'm another cop, idiot. Let's see what he does. Okay, nothing. Anyway. Oh, really? Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!